Hey Charleston, John Crompton, your trusted realtor with Keller Williams Realty here, giving you guys a market recap and what we saw in August compared to August of last year to kind of get an idea of where is this Charleston real estate market headed. Uh, what we saw though in August, this is kind of interesting, we had a billion dollars in sales in July. We almost hit a billion dollars in sales in August. We had 890 million plus dollars in sales happen in August, which was our third highest month in sales since I can go back to 2004 and record it. So we've had three of the consecutive back-to-back -back months of highest sales volume. So if that shows anything, our real estate market is extremely strong and people are buying homes left and right. So what are we seeing in our market? Well, we're seeing our average days on market continue to go down due to our supply. So our average days on market right now are about 49 days, which is down 9.2%. 3% over this time last year in August. So again, it is, should be taking you about 49 days on average for your home to sell. Some homes just take a little longer, that's all, no big deal. And yet it's gonna take 49 days on average per our data that we're seeing. Uh, our supply, right, it continually is dwindling. We saw our decrease in supply when COVID first hit. We thought we'd see a bounce back, but our supply just continues and continues and continues to dwindle. I think it's because we have a lot of buyers in our market, a lot of out-of-state people moving into our market, so it's eating up a lot of that supply. Uh, but what we're sitting on right now is about 1.9 months of supply. That's down 54.5% since last year. That's an incredible decrease in the months of supply of homes. And what does that really mean? Well, it just means that if you die driving down a street and saw a bunch of signs, every other sign should be under contract. So that's what's going on with our inventory. We're just losing it because of a lot of contracts being written, which we'll talk about here in a minute. We did see new listings hit the market in August of 2,205. That's an increase of about 11, uh, nope, I lied to you. That's an increase of 2.1%. Uh, so we did see some homes come on the market, but that is a good thing again, when we don't have supply, we need to see those homes hit. What we did see though is contracts being written we saw 2,511. So more contracts written than homes going on the market. That was an increase of again, 54%. We saw a 54% increase in contracts written in August where we typically see a slowdown due to school starting and, and so much of the normalcy of our season. And yet it's been so abnormal this year that we saw an increase of 54%. Uh, it's just incredible. Uh, closings, again, they were up. We wrote a lot of contracts in May. We wrote a lot of contracts in June. We should only have more closings. They were up 10.2%. So we saw 2,031 homes go to closing in the month of August. That's a great thing to see. Uh, what I would be aware of, building costs. If you guys are thinking about buying new construction, I think a lot of people in the last few months have written contracts on new construction. So if you're buying new construction or you're considering a new home, I would think about that cost difference because we are hearing that there is a supply uh, supply and demand happening with lumber and happening with supplies for the builder. So I do suspect that the builders are going to pass that on to you as a consumer because if their increase of goods go up, it's going to come down to you on your, your purchase. So if you're thinking about buying a new home, give me a call. I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about that and how we help you and how we can represent you for no money and that the builder's representation is solely through the builder and how we can help navigate that whole process for you. So feel free to reach out to me, guys. My number is below. My email is below. If you have questions, I know you will. Feel free to reach out again. I'm happy to answer them. And stay tuned. See you guys soon. Take care.